Hi, um, good evening. So uh, my name is Mar. Um, I'm a web developer. Uh, today I'm gonna tonight I'm gonna discuss about um, what's new in Angular JS. So before I start, can I check who among you are Angular developers? Anyone who have heard of Angular before? <laughs> yeah, and anyone who doesn't plan to raise their hands any time of the <laughs> night. So um, I'm, I'm telling this to you because I'm not also an Angular developer. So I, I'm just uh, learning recently and then I noticed that they have a new version. So because um, I noticed that every time I try to learn, <laughs> they have a new version. So <laughs> yeah, so um, I wanted to share with you just like a brief over overview. So I haven't really tried it in, in any like actual projects. So I might need the help of um, Angular developers here. If I don't make any sense, uh, please uh, just tell me or just sign uh, <laughs> to stop. <laughs> tell me to stop. All right. So um, just a brief um, introduction about what uh, Angular can do. So um, that's how they, they, uh, the, the three key things that they do um, that we, you can do on their website is you can build uh, progressive web apps. Um, it's uh, something, uh, a technology now that you can uh, build your website uh, faster, um, as fast as it can be, uh, even if the internet is um, cut down or slow. Um, so that's the, that's the goal. And then um, you can also do uh, native apps, uh, same, same as um, how um, the rest of other um, JavaScript framework um, nowadays. And then desktop. Um, this one is actually um, interesting. I'm not uh, pretty sure how, how is the integration for desktop applications uh, because I also do web, uh, I mean, I also do desktop applications before. So I'm curious. So um, for the versions, um, they have started uh, with, with Angular ver Angular JS version one. Um, it actually started with only um, as an MVC framework. Uh, so it's fully for, for web development. And then the next one would be, um, so actually when I, when I started reading about Angular, um, it was in AngularJS. And then during that time, it, they transitioned to, to Angular. Um, so technically now, um, you're not supposed to call it AngularJS or version one or version two. Um, it's just called Angular. Um, and then, so the main difference is um, they use uh, a TypeScript now. Um, starting um, Angular 2. So, um, and then they, uh, I'm not really sure why it's version 4 right now. So, so if you are developing using um, Angular, um, you should be familiar with uh, the Angular C CLI. So it's a command line interface. Um, if you upgrade the current version of um, CLI, you should be able to, to get the latest version of um, Angular, which is 5. Right, so um, we start with the, the first thing that they have uh, done. So build optimizer. So the main, uh, the main goal of um, upgrading from version four to five um, is to make the development and the application uh, faster um, because uh, the previous uh, version, they, they noticed that there's, there's a lot of um, files involved um, during the build, during the compile. So, the first uh, thing is the build optimizer. So it's now um, included in the Angular CLI. So when you do your, your build, um, it's already uh, included for build optimizer. And then the next, um, the main um, thing about the, this update is uh, they decrease the size of production bundles. Um, later I'm gonna show you how, uh, how's the difference between uh, the four and the fifth one. So, and then uh, another thing is the compiler improvements. They also change uh, to TypeScript uh, transforms. Uh, and then because of that, they are able to uh, support incremental compilation now. So whatever files you have updated would be the one that would be produced for your build. So that makes your uh, build uh, faster, um, especially for your production builds. All right. So um, when I, I because when I was uh, reading about it, um, I noticed uh, when I when I did the build, so I had this. Uh, so they they 
produce the production uh, files. Um, I'm not sure if it's um, clear. Um, so currently, just I just use the 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 default uh, files that they produce. It it produced like around four MB of file, and then when I upgraded the same application, uh, I noticed that the result is around two hundred KB. So what they did is uh, they don't include the files that uh, are not really needed in in the the production build. So and then the next update would be uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, fully implemented the the goals that they wanted. So because the main goal for for angular uh for the uh, next few release i think it's in a beta as well so they wanted to build uh, progressive uh, web apps easier for developers um, and then the main goal is to make it a uh, default option for developers so whenever you build an uh, angular uh, website um, I, I suppose it would be a, a progressive web app as, as a default and then the next uh, would be um, AOT is on, on a default. This, this is actually already in um, Angular 4, but they made it as a default. Um, it's a ahead of time compiler. Uh, the main uh, difference is um, it's not just in time. So when you have a um, ahead of time compiler, it, it actually uh, builds the, the JavaScript, the files, before it even um, go on the runtime. So, because when you had a just-in-time compiler, um, it only uh, does the rendering, uh, the build when it loads on the browser. So the different there's a difference between the 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 how how the speed of, of how you compile it. So which makes it uh, faster um, on the rendering portion, right? So. And then um, compile, uh, compilation when necessary. So watch mode. I haven't uh, tried this um, when, when I'm reading around um, Angular, but I'm not sure if it's the same concept as how you did it in SASS. Um, when, when you can actually um, set the, the application in, in a watch mode, where every time you do a save, um, the output files of your build actually gets the, 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 the updates that you do. Right, so, and then they did some improvements with the um, Universal Transfer API. So this is uh, actually what they, uh, it's a, uh, a concept where they, you can use the API to communicate between your uh, application and the server side. So from the client side and the server side. And then, yeah, so they introduced the server transfer uh, state module which uh, sends over data. If I'm not mistaken, you can. This is actually on the on the server side where you can pass um, data over the HTTP. Right, and um, uh, full support of uh, Domino. Uh, so this is more of um, uh, DOM manipulation um, within the the server side context. Right, so. Actually, the, um, I will not include any code. Um, I'm just also learning um, as of the moment uh, with Angular. So, yeah, I think that's that's it for for my slides. Thank you. Yeah. So you said that you uh, are not yet using. Yeah, I'm. I'm just reading around actually. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, what else do you use, and why would you consider Angular Five? Or what are you looking for? Oh yeah. Um. I'm actually um a .NET developer uh, during the day. Um. We we don't uh, have any specific frameworks yet. I'm more into just when when we do client side. As of now, the current structure is we use uh, Bootstrap and uh, just the basic uh, jQuery and all. Um. So. I, because I had I have this project um, that I'm trying to uh, consider um, using Angular because I saw how how the 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 transition when when you do like just the basic saving and manipulation of the DOM um, it's I would say it's really fast 
it's, it's there's a big difference between the the old way of how we do it so i'm just and then because um i got interested when when you can do um across everything um like from the web um, to the native app to even the desktop application so that's that's uh that's the one that made me really interested with it anything else you mentioned the um the watch feature do you know if that does hops reloading in the browser so you, you see mm -hmm. in your editor the, do you have to Reload or um, that one I'm not really sure, but uh, there's a specific command that you, you can you can run. Um, how I as as what I mentioned, um, I tried it um, in in SAS CSS. Um, when I update the file, it actually reproduces the 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 files directly on my on the on the output portion. But I'm not really sure if do you need to to refresh it. Uh, if that's how uh, Angular uh, works, yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions? We can do a question later. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much.